Good morning, everyone. Well, if you're in central or eastern Nebraska, I gotta say today is not looking very nice. Wet, chilly, breezy. Any improvement for tomorrow? Well, we'll get to that in just a second, but first let's focus on the details for today. The good news is that for the morning commute, while I can't rule out a stray shower just about anywhere in central or east Nebraska, I do think the best chance of rain is in the far southeastern corner of the state. So I think a lot of us are going to get a dry morning commute in. It's not going to stay dry for long. Let's jump ahead to the late morning hours and notice how the rain is pushing into a lot of locations at this point. Probably seeing rain at 11 a.m. in Lincoln, Omaha, Kearney, Grand Island. If it's not raining at 11 a.m., it's going to be about to start. And I tell you what, the afternoon hours are just looking wet. Now, this is mostly going to be showers, I think, but could there be a couple of weak storms around? Yes, not worried about severe storms. Notice early afternoon, the one place that might still be hanging on to relatively dry conditions is over in North Platte, Broken Bow, but I think we're going to be in the thick of the rain across southeastern Nebraska in particular. And I tell you what, looking like a wet homebound commute for a lot of folks, anywhere from North Platte on over to Omaha, I think we're going to be dealing with rain, yeah, showers, and maybe a few storms around. So I would plan on giving yourself a little extra time to get home today. It's probably going to be a little bit of a slower go on the roads than usual. So I think the activity is actually going to be peaking during the evening and overnight hours. Look how it really is filling in across the central and eastern part of the state. Now, I do have to mention, I haven't been talking about the panhandle, but there is a chance rain in the afternoon and evening hours for you, but it's a lot smaller than the central and eastern part of the state. We're only talking about isolated showers over in the panhandle instead of the widespread rain in the central and eastern part of the state. So, what about tomorrow? Well, notice that by 7 a.m. tomorrow morning, we are seeing more gaps showing up. It does look like the best chance of rain is going to be in the northeastern part of the state, but certainly got to leave in a chance of rain, especially for Columbus, Lincoln, Omaha. You might get lucky and drive in between a shower, but more likely that you're going to see rain. But look how the activity really started to break up in the central part of the state. And so that's going to be the story tomorrow. Wetter to the east and certainly drier to the west, where tomorrow in the panhandle there's no chance of rain. And look how the cloud cover is going to be breaking up from west to east as we go through the day. So here we are at noon. And by noon, probably done with the rain chance in North Platte, Broken Bow, Kearney. I think from noon on, I think the chance really limited to the far eastern part, say from Grand Island over to Omaha, everybody else looking dry for the afternoon hours and not looking as wet tomorrow. As today in the far eastern part of the state, there are going to be more gaps, but notice how the rain chance is going to try and stick around even into the late afternoon and early evening hours tomorrow for places like Beatrice, Lincoln, Omaha. Now, late afternoon will probably even be dry in places like Grand Island or Neal, so the rain chance really limited to the far eastern part of the state. And look again how the cloud cover really breaking up in the western half of the state, but a cloudy day in the far eastern part of the state, so that's going to lead to a big temperature difference for tomorrow. So let's talk about winds and temperatures to wrap up here. Pretty uniform today. All these temperatures well below normal for this time. You know, we should see highs in the mid to upper 70s. Boy, not today. A lot of folks in the mid to upper 50s where it's going to be drier. Some will get into the low to mid 60s, but that's going to be it. Also got to mention that for the far eastern part of the state, looking windy. Gusts 30, 35 miles per hour. For the central part of the state, we'll call it breezy. Gusts 20 to 25 over in the panhandle. Not much wind today, so stronger winds to the east, lighter winds to the west. Still not much wind in the panhandle tonight, but still got to call it breezy for the central and eastern part of the state through tonight, so a little bit of a wind chill factor to go with these below normal temperatures. You know, some in the far eastern part of the state may only cool down to the low 50s, but I think a lot of us are going to be in the 40s, and if you have the panhandle, I do think we're going to be seeing lows in the upper 30s. And then check out high temperatures tomorrow. It depends on how much sun you're going to see and how much rain you're going to see. So more clouds and rain to the east. No chance of rain in the far western part of the state and a lot more sun. So look at those low 70s in the panhandle. And then an area of upper 60s, mid 60s, low 60s. But Lincoln, Omaha, Columbus, probably only going to see highs in the mid 50s for the central and eastern part of the state. Going to be breezy. But I actually think the windiest conditions tomorrow are going to be over in the panhandle that's about the only negative for tomorrow in the panhandle with those gusts 30 to 35 miles per hour. Otherwise, a very nice day with lots of sun and very comfortable temperatures.